Today I have two fully electric cars with me, the NIO ET7 long with the big battery pack and the Model Y Performance made in Giga Berlin, Germany. We are going to race between Stockholm and Gothenburg. It's 485 kilometers of a trip. And this is not a regular race. This is a technology race where I'm comparing supercharging vs battery swapping. So NIO is a pioneer when it comes to battery swapping. They prefer battery swapping before quick charging. And Tesla, as you already know, prefer quick charging and have their own supercharging network, the V3 superchargers, combined with this Model Y performance, is a great combination for charging fast. So a battery swap should take a couple of minutes. Let's see how long it takes. And with proper planning, the Model Y performance should also only need a couple of minutes of charging if planned correctly and executed right. So let's see about that. Together with me, I have my brother. And he is going to drive the Model Y Performance whilst I'm driving the NEO ET7. There is a couple of rules. Rule number one, always stick to the speed limits. Rule number two, we're going to track the time all the way and we are pausing the, the tracker uh, for external events that we can't uh, control and when we think it's necessary to provide a comparable result. And this is not a comparison between these two cars. It's not a consumption test. It's not a range test. It is a charging test battery swapping vs supercharging so it's time to go we are just going to pack the cars and leave for the trip and continue reporting during the whole way welcome to it's only electric this is going to be a great day let's go we have just started our journey to gothenburg 482 kilometers to be exact both cars needs a stop uh, the Model Y needs to do a supercharging stop in Jönköping. That's a V3 version 3 supercharger with a peak power of 250 kilowatts. So that's great. And the estimated uh, state of charge on arrival seems to be 5% for the Tesla. Uh, and the NIO also needs a stop. It's saying that on the display here. So we are going to do a battery swap at the first battery swap station that's placed in Mantorp, so it's approximately 250 kilometers away. I'm just going to check the status. Hello, man, how is it going for you? How is the state of charge? Everything okay? It's going great, uh, 92% state of charge, 435 kilometers. Perfect. I have 473 kilometers of uh, GOM range. It says that it is four hours and 40 minutes left of the trip. Let's see about that. Yeah, we see cool winds. Exciting, huh? I think, uh, I actually think charging is uh, the better alternative. Yeah, let's see about that. I also prefer charging, but uh, I'm very impressed with the NEO swap station. So let's see what happens. Really interested. Really interested. Yeah, speak to you soon. I charged this car to 90% uh, before leaving uh, the Model Y to 97%. I didn't have time to char charge it to 100%. The reason for, for charging the Tesla more is that the Tesla actually has a smaller battery and a bit lower uh, VLTP range. 90% in this car compared to 100% in the Model Y Performance gives approximately the same VLTP range, so that's the reason. We are actually not comparing the consumption or the range of the cars. The focus is on the different charging principles, swapping vs supercharging. This is going to be really exciting. 
it is three degrees outside so this can be considered a winter test currently the roads are dry that's good but the heat pumps needs to be on and working and will probably help a lot when it comes to the range and consumption so i'm activating the great massage functionality on this car i really love the massage uh, it is not this kind of a german weak massage this is real stuff chinese massage i like the dynamic one because uh, that one is really strong and that's my favorite i'm gonna ask my brother and see if he has activated his massage so i'm running my massage now how is it going for you everything is fine i unfortunately don't have any massage seats but uh, it's comfortable at least yeah yeah that's true you are traveling in a tesla i forgot that you can actually take your massage seats and then you can stand in line when, when you try to battery swap and i can charge in 10 minutes and be in gothenburg okay so you think that you are going to win this race uh i'm not convinced about that i'm gonna swap the out of the tesla you're in a chinese car i'm in a tesla it says all let's see about that we have been driving for one hour and 20 minutes 80 kilometers so what is your current state of charge and consumption my current charge is 77 percent at 363 kilometers to go on the gong that's good and consumption consumption is 161 kilowatt hours okay that's good uh, I have an average of 192 or 19.2 almost 40 uh, watt hours more yeah and I have 370 kilometers of range left so I have like 25 kilometers left before swapping the battery okay. and I have uh, 126 kilometers to the charging station okay that's nice i have a range of 207 kilometers left and a consumption just about 200. And i have 200 kilometers left uh, with a percentage of 42 percent and the average energy consum consumption is 180 kilowatts i have 42 percent left exactly the same then yes uh, this car has consumed 44 kilowatt hours since start. And the Tesla Model Y has consumed 38 kilowatts. Okay, so there is a uh, 6 kilowatt hours of uh, difference when it comes to consumption. So the difference in battery size are slowly getting eaten up by uh, consumption efficiency. Exactly, and you also sit on, but it's uh, a lot bigger, right? Yeah, it's uh, 5.1 meters long compared to 4.7. This car weighs in at 2.4 tons compared to 2 tons, so it's a big difference. That's pretty huge, actually. Yeah, and, but, but uh, the CV values are approximately the same, around 20, 21. Are you still punished? Autopilot punished? I'm, uh, I'm punished, so I have to drive the car as a peasant. <laughs> I'm activating the, the autopilot now. So fun fact, this car has spent 5% uh, on climate control. Ah, interesting information then. Yeah, and only 1% on the driving assistance. So climate control is 2.2%. Okay, and on this one 5%, so that's a difference. Because both cars are uh, running on heat pumps. I don't know, I think this car is smart, so it doesn't heat the back seat, so it should be fine. Okay, now I'm actually seeing uh, that my order is awaiting for battery swap. There is zero people in line. Should be pretty fast then. Yeah, should be an optimal switch. And it automatically chooses the right battery size. I can see it here in the menu. 
Ah, uh, okay, so nice. It's pretty smart, then. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool system. Maybe that car is gonna change my mind about uh, battery swapping, then. Yeah, you may be. It's seven degrees outside. I'm almost. I almost feel like swimming, taking a swim. <laughs> Why? How do you mean? I mean, when you see the sun, it it feels a lot warmer. And I, I actually have uh, my sweater on top of my of my shirt, and the sun is shining on it, so it feels very hot. I, I really, I have been missing the sun. That's true. Forget how the summer feels in Sweden in the winter. Yeah, that's true. Why are we going so slow? I've just uh, increased uh, speed now. I'll follow you. So now I am at the Neo swapping station. It's my turn to charge. So I'm gonna stand in a certain position and press start. Let's see what happens. So that's the position. Okay, so now the car is going to power swap and park into the station. Start parking. We are parking now. It does everything by itself. Backing into the swap station. Yeah, I'm on my way up. Whoa. No, start over. Let's see what happens. Okay, backing up. Okay, so this is a bit scary. Um, soon up on the station. No, I am at place. Oh. Vehicle parked. So the vehicle is parked. Start power swap. Numi is instructing me. Now let's see how long this takes. Power swap is about to start. During this time, the vehicle may shake and make noise. This is normal. It says three to five minutes. Door, shift gears or press the brake pedal. Current range 171 kilometers. Let's see what happens when I get the new battery. Now everything shuts off, so it actually cuts the power to the car completely. Nothing is happening yet, no vibration, just some sounds. So two and a half minutes has passed, still very quiet. Some things are going on underneath the car, but uh, doesn't feel like it. Uh, has started to unbolt or unscrew the battery pack yet. And now something is happening. Oh, now something is touching the car. Yeah, the, it's lifting the car up. So the car is in the air. Whoa, it's a bit scary. That was the bolts. Now I think... Hmm. A lot of things are going on now. Squeaking and banging sounds. The car is lowered now. Let's see if the battery is swapped or if it is going to lift up the car again. Uh, this is an exciting moment. It has been three and a half, almost four and a half minutes since uh, the swap started. Now I'm probably going to get the new battery. Neo has done, whoa, the car is in the air again. So Neo has done 
a couple of million battery swaps in total so this is nothing new it's new in Europe uh, and this is the first station in Sweden there's only two stations in Sweden um, so that's exciting maybe this is the sec I think this is the second station Mantorp there is a uh, one more down in Varberg, the south of Sweden or south southwest of Sweden. So this is the second station. It's fairly new, and you can tell by looking at the construction zone and the area, the surrounding area. There's actually nothing else out here. There is some like horse stables and uh, nothing else. Now it's. Uh, bolting the fastening the battery pack i can tell by the sound and now it's getting ready it's lowering the car let's see if the power is going to switch on six minutes has gone the power is switching on let's see if the car is going to start up and exit by itself soon now numi is moving soon i get a green light let's see yeah startup sound almost seven minutes almost seven minutes have passed can the supercharger beat this time i'm not sure let's see i got a green light so now i'm ready to drive so i'm driving out manually That's all. The battery swap is done. I have switched the battery. I now have, I went from 150 or 60 kilometers of range to 450. It's like a 90% full battery. So that went well. So it took almost eight minutes to do a total swap. That may be the quickest charging stop I have ever made. So now it's time to resume the trip. I have 250 kilometers left, two and a half hour of drive before I reach my destination. Let's see how it goes for my brother. He is too far away now, so I can't use this one because it only has a range of five or six kilometers in best case. Probably not even that. So let's continue the trip and let's hope for battery swap as a winner over fast charging. I'm not sure is the battery swapping going to win or is it the fast charging? I know that swappings can go even faster than uh, the time I got. It should be able to do swappings uh, in under five minutes, but it's depending on a lot of factors like battery temperature not only uh, on the battery in the car but also the battery temperature inside the station the swapping station uh, but still it is a very fast way and convenient way to get new range sun is still shining seven degrees outside a lot better than i thought from the beginning a good and a bad thing is that numi is nagging at me quite often as soon as I like touch my phone or play with the screen or let go of the steering wheel she actually tells me to stay focused etc I'm gonna show you it's the autopilot nagging and telling me to hold the steering wheel that's good Hey Numi. Yes. Can you tell me a joke? Right eye to left eye between you and me. Something smells seriously wrong. Hey Numi. Yes. Can you tell me another joke? Could you say that again? Can you tell me a joke? What do you call a noodle that is not a noodle? Antipasto. <laughs> A uh, noodle that's not a noodle, antipasto, yeah. Makes sense. Hi, Numi. Hi there. 
How are you? Thanks for asking. Everything is great here, so glad you asked. In fact, I feel amazing good that you asked. I'm fine, and I hope you are fine too. So, I am very fine. Uh, I also feel amazing good that you asked me how I am. Thank you, Numi. I'm gonna call my brother and see where he is. I guess he is uh, entering charging very soon. Let's check the status on the phone. Hey man, have you entered the charging station? How, how did it go with uh, the, the swap? It went fast. I mean, I think the swapping itself took uh, just under eight minutes. Uh, but let's okay. see when we come back home and see. So that's the time for you to beat. I think if you can... Good, uh, actually, eight minutes. Yeah, so if you can charge under 10 or eight minutes, I think you will be able <laughs> to win this. But let's see. So how are, uh, what, what's your range? Have you... Reach the, the charge station? Uh, no, I have uh, 15 minutes left. 15 minutes? Kilometers. Okay. Yes. And I have 8% state of charge. I'm trying to drive real low, real deep. Okay, so trying to, to, to empty the battery as much as possible to, to have... Uh, yeah, to charge as uh, fast as possible. So. Yeah, that's good. That's a good strategy. Uh, so, what do I have? I have 37 kilometers left in the tank. Okay. So to speak. I have 20 kilometers to the charging station. There should be a lot of stations, uh, 10 or 12, that's available. So it should be no problem. And it's fast chargers. So. Okay, so no, uh, no charging queue. You will, you will be able to just start charging immediately. Exactly. Yeah. And it's 251 uh, version three, so it should be, should be good actually. Yeah, let's hope so, and uh, let's see what, what happens. Yeah, and maybe we can. Uh, reach each other on uh, on the walkie-talkies later on again depending yeah, on uh, how so. long it takes for you let's see there's been radio silence for a long time now so yeah Fine. great okay. okay good luck so he's entering the charger very soon and it sounded like he's going to arrive at like a low state of charge below five percent i think that's a good strategy to to be able to charge as fast as possible uh, and uh, I think he is uh, preheating the battery too because it's a bit cold outside preheating is needed so let's see if we can beat the approximate eight minutes of charge time if that's enough for him or if we need to stay more 125 kilometers left on this trip uh, so a bit more than an hour, one hour and 20 minutes left. I'm gonna call my brother and see how the charging session went for him. And I hope that I'm gonna win, but let's see. I need to use the phone. I'm gonna call him immediately and see what it says. Come on. What's up? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? How's it going? Fine. Have you uh, finished charging? Yeah, I uh, supercharged. Okay. Uh, How did it go? With good speeds. Good speeds? Good speeds. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I peaked at 250 kilowatts. Oh, well, that's nice. Did you good. you did start at the low SOC or 3 or 4% or what, what yeah, was it? Yeah, 3 or 4%. Exactly. Oh, okay. 3 nice. 3 or 4%. So we started low, did go really deep. Battery did heating say. on. So the battery was battery heated? On. Okay, great. Exactly, and there was a 250 kilowatts peak and a pretty decent flat curve, so it was good. Okay, so it tapered uh, to 200 and... Okay, that's nice. So, uh, do you have a time and a time for me? Do you know how long it took or do you need to calculate? Uh, it took approximately 12 and a half minutes. Okay, so we need to do uh, a final uh, check when we arrive. So, but it's, exactly. it sounds like the supercharger is losing this race by a couple of minutes but we don't yes. we don't know for sure yet we need to 
contemplate and uh, calculate the final score, the final, uh, and take a final decision. Deduct uh, some, uh, okay. some times maybe, but let's see. So it yeah. looks like battery swapping is a bit more effective on this trip, but let's see. So we have, yeah, yeah I have 125 kilometers left on my trip. So you are, you probably are a couple of kilometers behind me then. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, so when are you there approximately? I have one hour and 15 minutes left. How long do you have? Okay. So one hour and uh, 25 minutes. Okay. Approximately. Okay. So Great. We see. Yeah, so uh, we'll meet at uh, Lisebergs parking lot and see uh, who arrives first. But that's obviously going to be me. But we need to do yeah. <laughs> some calculations yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. But swapping uh, seems pretty good, actually. Yeah, so. I agree. I agree. It's uh, a good technology. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Me later, then. Yeah. See you soon. See you soon. Uh, bye. Bye. So it seems like the battery swap actually has an advantage here at this moment. Uh, if we are not wrong, it defers like three or four minutes, but we need to do the final calculation to see, deduct some, uh, uh, some slack time, etc. From, uh, from the total time and see what it ends up on. But uh, pretty exciting, huh? He is probably going to arrive with less battery than me. Uh, that's advantage of uh, getting a whole uh, completely charged battery in the battery swap station. But let's see. I'm really enjoying this car. I have been using the massage sheet a lot, uh, talking to Numi. Uh, she actually it feels like you have someone with you in the car of course not as a passenger but still more than you feel when you have a normal ai or voice uh, voice recognition system or voice control system she actually looks at you and uh, warns you and i think the warning she gives you is i know i care more when Nomi tells me to keep my eyes on the road then when the Tesla software does it because that's only the screen but that's I don't know that may just be me but it feels like they have a point uh, with this robot hello hello I have 30 minutes left. Okay. Uh, and, uh, I have 36 minutes left. Okay, so six minutes behind. And yeah. I have 210 kilometers of range, so I have plenty of range left since I swapped the battery. How does it look for you? Yeah. you? You charge a bit extra, I guess. Exactly, and I have 105 kilometers left, so I will have like 50, 45 to 50 kilometers left when we arrive. Okay, that's great so we don't end up uh, stranded without battery. Exactly. So exactly. that's nice. How does your consumption look? My consumption is 189 watt hours. Okay, so my, my average consumption is just over 200, 205. So exciting. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah. Just uh, under half an hour left for me, so I will have arrive uh, before you and greet you at the parking lot yeah. in Gothenburg. So I'm actually finally on site in Gothenburg. The famous Lisebay. I'm waiting for my brother. Uh, he's probably here soon. Uh, it has been a couple of minutes, so I'm stepping out from the car and let's see when he arrives. Ah, oh, there you are. I think I beat you, man. No, that's perfect. <laughs> I think I beat him by like four or five minutes. So can this be it? Did the swap station beat Tesla Supercharger version 3? I think so. 
What's up, man? <laughs> I've been waiting for like five or six minutes. Yeah. Uh, you won. I think uh, the battery swap won, actually. Yeah, I think so too. Let's jump into my car, make the final decision and calculations, and uh, a closure. Yeah. It's cold outside, it's windy and like two degrees, so. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <I'm> freezing. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So we are both sat in the Neo ET7 now, uh, arrived in Gothenburg. As you all saw, I arrived a bit earlier than he did. And we have been calculating. We have traveled 482 kilometers. Uh, the time, the total time for the Tesla is five hours and 17 minutes. And drum roll, brrr, total time for the Neo is five hours and 12 minutes. So the difference is actually due to the charging. So the Tesla actually charged in 12 minutes and 25 seconds, whilst the Neo only took eight minutes and five seconds for switching the battery. Yeah. Uh, so four minutes and 20 seconds faster for the Neo. So that's what you can expect during a trip uh, in almost 500 kilometers, a single stop of eight minutes. Isn't that really good? I mean, if you didn't have an electric car and just a gas car, it should take like, you, you, you only save eight minutes on a whole trip of 500 kilometers. Eight minutes. You should get an electric car now. Uh, and don't whine about range and charging times. And uh, something to note is that uh, the Neo actually arrived with 150 kilometers of range left. So that's very good. And uh, thanks to the battery swap. And how did the, the Tesla end? Four to five kilometers. Yeah, so, so you charge a little bit extra and you have four to five kilometers of range left. So that's the downside of quick charging. Uh, you, we only charged or you only charged as much as you needed and added a little bit to that. But I mean, if you're traveling between Stockholm and Gothenburg uh, and you're going to stay at a hotel or you are visiting someone or going home, then you plug in your car to the charger anyway, so that doesn't matter. But if you're not going to do that, then of course, obviously, the extra range, the extra amount of range that you get with the Neo is, of course, better. Another plus to the swapping technology is also that the longer you travel, the more time you save. If you double the distance, you will save more than half an hour. Because then we need to charge the Tesla even more and even longer. And then you, because the Tesla is really impressive when you charge it uh, from low state of charge to up to 50%, maybe. Then it's amazingly quick. After that, it tapers a lot uh, and you lose a lot of time. So to be able to keep an efficient charging curve, you should charge on low charge, uh, on, on low state of charge. Uh, that's it. Long trips, you will save a lot of time with battery swapping. Up to 500 kilometers, you will save time, but it's not that uh, much. Just a couple of minutes, as you see. So, there you have it. It's on the table. Battery swapping beats supercharging. Fun test to do. Yeah, really fun. Yeah, uh, and I'm glad to have you here with me. Uh, I couldn't have done this without you, so. <laughs> Pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's great. I think that's it for now. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, that would really help me to create content like this for you guys. Sometimes together with my brother uh, would be fun. So always stay electric. And this is the proof for staying electric. Thank you for watching. Speak to you soon.